Since we finished up our middle of year Dibbles assessments, I wanted to give you a quick refresher on how to access the grade level data as you begin to set your end of year literacy goals. First thing I'm going to do is in my web, web browser, I'm going to pull up www.mclasshome.com. Now this site's going to look a little different than what you're used to because this is the data page where you're used to seeing the assessment page. You're going to use your same login as you would for your progress monitoring. Log in. And it's going to open up your home screen. Now many of you have used this to pull up your class reports here with Dibbles Next. But this time since we're setting a grade level goal, we're going to skip the individual class reports and go straight into the reporting tab. And it's going to pull up all the different types of reports that you can customize. We want to select M Class Dibbles Next. And here you're going to see that just from the Dibbles you can access several different types of reports that you can generate to look at the data in lots of different ways. The one we want to use is the first one, Students Composite Scores. And just click on that graph. As the graph loads and pulls up, it's going to automatically load everything from our entire school. So you're going to have to go down the left side of the screen and filter out a couple of the options. The first filter you're going to need to do is in student population. Just click to open up that tab and then change it. Change the grade level. You do not want all grades. I'm just going to select first grade and then close that tab. And you'll notice when it closes it's going to spin a little bit. It's going to show you that it's saving your changes. And then scroll down to the next one is time. It's going to select middle of year. You want to change it to select beginning of year and middle of year. So you can see the changes in data. And then view this report. And it's going to load the page that we are used to seeing printed out. But the benefit of you actually pulling it up on the screen is not only can you see these percentages to compare increases in scores and set that end of year goal, but when it's on the screen like this, each color is a hyperlink. So you can click and pull up the list of each student that was scored as a well below benchmark or red student. You can also do that with the yellow students or the green. I think most of us were familiar with how to access this page, but I just wanted to give you a quick refresher as you begin to set that end of year goal.